Good morning, welcome back to day four, I think, of Yosemite <laughs> National Park. Uh, today we are on our way to check out the northern part of the park, so another new adventure, seeing new things. Um, also, Tantor is about to hit 100,000 miles. He has how many to go? Nine, seven? Uh, yeah, seven. Seven to go, so we'll probably hit it on this drive up to the northern part, so we'll make sure to get that on the vlog. Um, but yeah, starting out to be a super good day so far. Baby, he's getting so old. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, I'm a little tired. Clearly, um, I don't know. I'm good. I want to live here so badly. I'm just thinking, like, as I'm driving, all these things that I can do when we're back in Connecticut to make that happen. I'm like, I need to research like all these rock climbing things and like ways to get back to Yosemite and do Half Dome and I'm just. <laughs> We're here, but I want to be back here already. Yeah. So that's where I am. Yeah. But As we've said, like every day, we definitely want to come back when it's the wet season, uh, so we can see all the waterfalls and the rivers and lakes filled up, and do half dome as well. But you need a special permit to do that. But one day we will. Right. Yeah. What a cool road to hit it on. That's so awesome. Look at the views of this road we hit it on. Oh my Jeez. god. Damn. Yay, Tato! <laughs> Yay! Yay! You're such a good boy. <laughs> I love this car. This has been the best blessing for it's I guess it's not a blessing, it's a lot of hard work. Yeah. But it's been the it's just, oh, this car has brought us so much. I love this car. Thanks, Tantor. He's a good one. Yay, 100,000! See, this is why I wanted to buy a car with less than 100,000, because I wanted to be with the car when it hit the milestone, because it's so important. Like, my first my first truck, I hit 100,000 on it, and I remember, like, doing the same thing when I was driving, like, recording, and being like, oh my god, is it now? Is it now? Is it now? And it was just the best feeling ever. Because, like, <laughs> I don't know, it's just it's so exciting! So now it's on to the next 100,000, and then 200,000, and then 300,000. He's still got a, a long life ahead of him, which is really promising. Hopefully. I'm sure he does. Yeah. Toyota seems to last a lifetime. Forever. Yeah. Alright, so our first hike of the day. It's more of like a nature walk than a hike. I think it's only two miles. It is the Tulumi, uh, what's it, Sequoia Grove? Giant sequoia grove, so really looking forward to this. It's probably going to be the biggest trees that we're going to see on this trip. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. So we're here, and I think it's at an out and back. Okay. I thought it was a loop, but it looks like out and back. All right. There's also this one, too. Mm -hmm. We already passed that, though. <laughs> come across our first giant sequoia and it's pretty giant and I don't even think this is the biggest one here. It's again it's like so difficult to show the scale of trees on camera but that is ginormous. The width of that is probably like 20 feet yeah pretty crazy. I think this may be the biggest tree I've ever seen. Possibly yeah. Jeez. So here we have a fallen sequoia. Quinn, go stand up next to it for scales. <laughs> this is just, it's like almost double the height of Quinn, just in diameter. Yeah, so that's probably like 10 foot. So it's not even one of the bigger ones. And that must have been quite a boom when it fell down. through to the other side of this giant sequoia. That's so cool. This is, feels like spelunking. Spelunking is a lot smaller than this. I'm sure it is. Well, 
that was a cool experience. Yeah. That was crazy. I'm tired, my legs hurt. I know. That was so cool. We just crawled through a sequoia tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so yeah. if you thought passing through the other tree was crazy, just wait until you see this one. <laughs> When did you say this tunnel was carved? 1878. Crazy. Definitely didn't have chainsaws then. Quinn and I were just speaking about how it's so difficult to even comprehend that this pathway existed almost 200 years ago. Actually, yeah, it's almost exactly 200 years ago yeah. that this road was built. And then they carved that tree, I think, in 1878. And just to think that people came through here on like horse and carriages, on their way to Yosemite. It all, this whole place just feels like it's out of a movie. The whole of Yosemite feels like it's a movie. It's just so beautiful and magical that it seems unreal. Yes. Yeah, I guess that's the best way I can describe Yosemite. <laughs> Right, we made it back. Now onwards to the next destination, which is, what's it called? Something Lake? Tenaya. Tenaya Lake. Tenaya, Tenaya, T-E-N-A-Y-A. Yeah. -E we also wanted to do a hike called Cloud's Rest, which I think is to the highest point in Yosemite. Yeah. I think it's a super long one, like 13 miles or something. That's crazy elevation. It's but it's still pretty hazy today, so we figured, and we're also tired. So we figured it's probably not worth it doing a hike like that if you're not gonna be able to see anything from the top. Yeah. So we're probably gonna save that for another trip when we come back here in the future. So today is just exploring this area. to Tanaya Lake and we are both starving so I think we're gonna make some food quick and then enjoy the view with our food because this lake is pretty awesome and then we'll probably find like a little short hike slash walk around or something I'm sure there's a walk around the lake that would be pretty cool I don't know we'll see Lake. This would actually be a really nice spot to come hang out and chill for the afternoon. It's actually quite nice on the sun on the side as well. How's the water? Cold. Very cold. Not as cold as, I mean I only touched the shallow part, but it's not as cold as the river water I don't think. Mm. But you get this lovely view. It's unfortunate that the sun is like right there so it's super reflection-y and harsh right now, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. Not bad. This water is so clear as well.
We got ice cream. Ah! I'm so excited. I haven't had ice cream in like two weeks. Yep. That's crazy. That's a long time for me. So for those of you that don't know, Quinn is an avid fan of ice cream <laughs> and eats it pretty often when we're at home. <laughs> Probably like every day. <laughs> well, I have like a mochi almost every day, which yeah, is ice cream. It's like a small dose of ice cream. So, yeah, we haven't had ice cream in, I don't yeah, even know I'm how long. Yeah, I'm not waiting any longer. It's I, probably been like a month. Or did you have ice no, cream? No, 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 I had one in San Francisco off that cart. Oh, I, right. The one that I like from high school. I haven't had ice cream in like a month or two. Oh my god, my mouth is fucking watering. That crunch, though. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we just got back from our long journey from the northern side of the park. Stopped to get some ice creams and now we're gonna head to the El Capitan Meadow that's next to it and just hang out there for the rest of the afternoon and see if we can see some rock climbers and make tacos for dinner. We really like our Mexican food on this trip. I know. We've had a Mexican food like every tacos, three days. Tacos, guacamoles, what else? What? No, it's usually just tacos. Yeah. Oh, taco soup. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They just have really good about ingredients. It. <laughs> 